Power Solutions Inc. And from Nuseco, sirs, thank you. As we begin with our uh, formal part of our technical seminar, to formally introduce our guest speaker, Engineer Cesar Rico S. Acanto, EEECE Department Chair, will formally introduce our guest speaker for this morning. Our speaker for today, uh, he is a very generous and achieving person. He graduated his Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from this university in 1985, during which he was awarded as the most outstanding electrical engineering graduate. During his stay in the college, he was granted the quality engineering scholarship as well as the Ministry of Education, Culture and Sport scholarship from 1981 to 1985. His quest for learning did not end here. He took his Master of Science in Electric Power Engineering and also courses on protective relaying and management in managing high performance organization at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in New York in 1996. He took and completed systems relaying theory and application courses from Georgia Tech in 2014 and just recently this year he completed integrated grounding system design and testing and power distribution grounding and transient training on that same school the georgia tech our speaker is also an academician his experience includes the following. He was the adjunct faculty from Guam Community College in basic electricity class in 1997. Also in the same university, uh, he taught P and E and EIT exam review classes. A power system instructor Guam Power Authority Electric Technical Training Program in Guam, USA from 1998 to 1999. A journeyman electrician instructor, Construction Craft Training Center, West Hover Street, Fresno, California from 2005 to 2009. Power System Protection Instructor, Grid System Operators Protection Training, PG&E, Vacaville from October 2009. Power System Protection Instructor, Electrical Technical tra Transmission Transformer Training, PG&E Southern Team, Rismo Beach Safety Meeting, October 2012. And Power System Protection Instructor, Distribution Operators and Distribution Planning Engineers Training, on transformer IPAC relays, PG&E Bakerfield, October 2013. As an industry practitioner, our speaker has worked on various companies here and abroad. So this includes work in National Power Corporation, Electrical Control Engineer, Panay Power Grid Control Center in Iloilo and Mindanao Transmission Lines and substation projects in General Santo City from 1986 to 1988. MD Chrysostomo Incorporated Electrical Engineer Tamuning Guam, USA from October 1988 to December 1991. Guam Power Authority, Power System Superintendent, Meter or Relay Section, System Protection Engineer from 1992 to 1999. And currently, 
He is working in Pacific Gas and Electric Company as supervising protection engineer from January 2000 up to the present. His, his current work has led him to do projects such as hybrid POTT scheme, pilot protection, line current differential scheme, two and three pilot protection terminals, directional comparison blocking scheme pilot, high impedance bus differential scheme, low impedance bus differential scheme, ring bus impact and uh, slash IPAC projects, breaker and a half impact projects, solar PV protection projects, 500 kV transformer bank protection, 230 kV, 115 kV transformer bank protection, and generator unit protection. He is also a proficient person in using various softwares for professional applications. Among them are the Aspen One-Liner Short Circuit and Relay Coordination Computer Program, Aspen Transmission Line Constant Modeling Program, WeNeeds Computer Software Program for Advanced Grounding Concepts and Fault Simulation, ISKM Analysis Short Circuit and Relay Coordination Computer Program, GE Circuit Judge Power Load Flow Computer Program, SEL 5030 and SEL 5010 Analytical Software, GE URPC Inner Vesta Software, Baker Wave Relay Software, and ADD REL Wave, REL Wise Computer Program, used in relay performance analysis. He's also experienced in using ATP Electromagnetic Transients Program, RTDS, and PSCAD. He is also a member of IEEE, Oakland East Bay Section, and a registered professional electrical engineer license holder for Guam and California in US of A. Friends, it is my pride and honor to introduce our research speaker for today, Engineer Leo B. Isugan. Good morning, Central Philippine University. Madam, wag inga salamat sa pag-attend sa nga seminar. Oh, we would like to welcome also the CPU EE85 alumni today. Also, all our, um, our professors and uh, classmates, also from other university, um, Central Philippine University here, uh, ESAT here, and WIT, welcome to this seminar. I'm very much uh, excited and interested to share with you some of the highlights of the projects that we did at uh, Pacific Gas and Electric Company in California. And this is about um, the uh, hydroelectric uh, power plant protection. And uh, this, we have, what we have here today is um, a pump storage power plant. Um, this is one of the uh, best uh, civil engineering project and electrical engineering project in California in 1995, and this is called the Hidden Power Plant. This is a pump storage power plant, and it's located 8,000 feet above sea level, and the, uh, why is it called the Hidden Power Plant? It is called the Hidden Power Plant because this power plant here was uh, dig and uh, installed in the middle of the mountain. And this mountain is made of granite stone, one of the hardest rock, right? It's uh, granite stone. And the granite stone, uh, these are all the granite mountain. 
And this is the cross-sectional view. And this hydroelectric power plant has three generator units, 400 megawatts each, totaling 1,200 megawatts. Uh, this, this generator, okay, this generator is located at 8,000 feet, and we have the higher reservoir at uh, 10,500 feet above uh, sea level, and this is the other reservoir at around 8,000 feet. So why is it called the hidden power plant? Because deep in the, uh, deep in the mountain, you cannot see this hydroelectric power plant. And this power plant is, um, we dig a tunnel uh, six kilometers inside the, uh, the mountains, and the diameter of the tunnels are around four miles. Um, we have this uh, surge chamber, another surge chamber here, or the outlet. And this generator here becomes a pump during uh, light load, or like from one o'clock in the morning up to four o'clock in the, in the morning, but around five o'clock to six o'clock, it becomes a generator all the way to the uh, 12 midnight or 10, 10 o'clock in the evening. Okay. This is the reservoir at uh, the low side of the uh, generator, and uh, it's around 128,600 acre feet. I don't know what's the conversion in your uh, metric system here. So this, so we have the uh, the snow. We collect the snow uh, during winter time, and the snow becomes the water during uh, springtime. So from the uh, higher reservoir, it becomes a water, and this water becomes your your mechanical input to your turbine and become in the generator. So these are the snow here. This is the, uh, the tunnel that we go in to uh, work inside the mountain. This around uh, one kilometer going inside the mountain. And the temperature inside this tunnel I during winter time is minus two degrees centigrade or like 24 or 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So we go out there and do the testing and commissioning of the hydro generators. And um, one of the CPU alumni was here to, to set all the relays of these generators, okay? Okay, here is the uh, cross-sectional view of the, uh, the water tunnel. And this is four miles, equivalent to around six kilometers. This is the diameter of the tunnel, and this is the uh, granite rock, you know. The diameter of this uh, tunnel is around 22 feet. So uh, lots of dynamites were used, you know, to blast this hole six kilometers, you know. This is the beautiful uh, view of the uh, four, uh, three generators. It's uh, 400 megawatt, 400 watt units each. Uh, what you see right now here is this is the hole, this is the granite, and this uh, chamber here is around 10 story, 10 story high building from the first floor